Skeletons is Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to another Chatting Skeletons episode. So this one I'm pretty sure is a no-brainer. I think I wrote this one down before I even started talking about my pin collection. When I was younger, first going to Disney, I never really ever thought of collecting pins. I'd always see them and think that they were cool, but I never really understood the concept of pin collecting. But then as I got older, I've you know, started to get pins from people. I started to get them as gifts or just random here you goes. And I didn't know really what to do with them. In fact, I'm pretty sure dollars to donuts, I don't know where most of my pins are because I know I've updated you guys on the ones that I have found, but I, I guarantee you there's some out there that I have not found. And that's why whenever I do find them, I've been like updating you guys on the vest that has all of them. So when I started doing the pink collecting, like in my head now I'm thinking like do I really want to get rid of these or do I do I want to be a pin trader or a pink collector? And then I kind of realized I don't want to be a pin trader, I'd rather be a pink collector. But if I end up getting like if I end up getting mystery packs with like repeat pins, I will trade those out, which I'll probably put on a separate vest just to see, but I don't know really how that's going to work. But yeah, um, especially like what, what I wanted to do when I got my new job because when I decided to be a pin collector, I had lost my job. And now that I wanted, now that I was wanting to be a pin collector, I wanted to get a pin every time I went to Disney. But unfortunately, every time I went, I was broke because I had to pay off my mom. And then at the time, I wasn't making enough. So, you know, it was hard to actually be a pin collector for a little bit. And then when I finally got my job, I started getting paid and I'm getting paid weekly now. But on top of that, when I started, the quarantine hit. So I wasn't able to do pin collecting. And then like halfway through quarantine, I saw that the, Disney, the Shop Disney website was selling pins and I'm like, okay, that's great. I probably should have bought some. But then I'm looking at it like I had no money and it wasn't until like mid-May that I got on unemployment. So, I mean, it was kind of tricky, and then, you know, now we, with Disney open back up and we can't even go, how am I supposed to even get pins? <laughs> so it's been like a total train wreck trying to actually start and starting to be a pin collector, but now that I have the opportunity to, at some point, I will. I think I may just go online and do the Shop Disney thing with their pins, because I'm pretty sure they do have a lot of them. I might just buy them in bulk. Okay, and I know Hot Topic sells Disney pins too, as well as Box Lunch, so I might start buying from them too, just to kind of start to kick off a pin collection in some way. Especially now that I have the back ends with the butterfly pins that are super, super nice. I really just want to get this going in some way, since I was stuck at home and now that I can't go to Disney probably until next year, which is fine. I mean, being an employee, it's like you don't have to pay for a freaking... um a pass so it's enter in whenever you can so yeah um as you guys know i will be updating you on my pin collection you guys will see the pins that i get be it from hot topic shop disney or disneyland or at disneyland itself either way you will see them and it's not like you know i'm gonna stop pin collecting anytime soon i'm gonna just be filling up vest after vest after vest <laughs> oh man but anyways thank you guys so much for watching bye little skeletons stay safe i love you guys